Hi, Galactic Travelers. This is Dealey here from DLKEvolve.com with another beautiful Galactic Origins mini reading for a client with the initials FH. Um, I just wanted to let you know before I get into the reading, um, if you book a, a Galactic Astrology reading with me, you will also um, get a free shamanic healing session included in that reading based on some of the karmic themes that show up in that reading. Um, so getting into uh, FH's soul origins. So when I tapped into his chart, I noticed that all his, his past lives were in the higher dimensions, like nine to 12 um, dimensional lives. And this is actually his first life in 3D. In these past lives, in these higher dimensions, he was always service to others. Um, this He was not here on earth at all for this life. This is his first life in 3D on Earth. This is his first life in 3D outside of Earth. And this is also his first time on Earth in general. He wasn't even really here that I picked up on in um, Memoria or Atlantis. So I'm getting that he actually came from another universe. And then he came to our galaxy through one of the super galactic points, the galactic center, the super galactic center, the great attractor or the Shapley attractor. And he always embodied a group frequency prior to this lifetime, never an individual. Um, and most of his lives that he had were actually in this other universe where he comes from, but he did spend a little bit of time here, a significant amount of time here in higher etheric states before incarnating on earth. So when I again tapped into who he was and what his purpose was in, in this other universe, he was a blueprinter. He was a blueprinter there. And then he continues this role when he's coming here. And specifically, he's a blueprinter deliverer. So according to Aaron Lynn on AkashicRecordReadings.com, a blueprinter deliverer is someone who is here to focus on embodying divine love and spreading that to others. So starting with oneself, loving yourself, and then spreading that throughout the connections with other people and humanity. So he's always having this attitude of love and not war, peace and harmony, loving the neighbor, loving thy neighbor, etc. cetera. Um, so he was always in these higher etheric states in this other universe. Then he comes here and he's also still in the higher etheric states and the form that he took on was kind of like this higher etheric insectoid looking light body form. Um, when he came here through a portal in one of the galactic points, he went right to Sirius A as kind of a spiritual master from this other universe. So when we get to his Sirius A um, connection, he has Uranus in the eighth house of Cancer um, conjunct Sirius A. And the really important thing that I believe he's connecting to in the energy of Uranus is he's bringing in in the future and forward thinking to his time in Sirius, but also to his time on earth now. So he is in Sirius to spread love. Um, and this is a very forward and futuristic way of thinking at the time. And same thing for what he's doing now here on earth. So he went to Sirius. He went to Sirius to bring peace and love, and he's doing it now on Earth too. And Uranus is in Cancer, so he's bringing in new ways for people to learn to love themselves and others in order to make Earth a better place to call home. And Uranus is at um, fourteen degrees, and this is this is the degree ruled by Taurus, or I'm sorry, this is the degree of Taurus ruled by Venus. So again, it just signifies more of that energy of bringing love and abundance and beauty and grounding that into physical reality, being that Taurus placement. Uranus is in the eighth house. So this is about digging into the occult, but also digging deep into our hidden, darker parts of ourself and spreading love and light within and accepting our shadows and becoming whole again by integrating all parts of ourselves. This really, this theme of love and acceptance of self and others is what he's emanating from his soul as a part of this mission. Uranus is an important planet in his chart as well because he has a T-square with Uranus, Saturn, and Chiron, and he also has a rectangle aspect pattern with Mars, Chiron, Uranus, and Jupiter. So we know that Uranus plays a big part in some of the energy that he's coming to heal. And we know with the T-square, that can also often be 
the feeling of rising above challenging, challenging energies, but being driven to really move forward and become successful in the challenges that you're trying to overcome. So I feel like he's had some challenges in his life without getting too far into the aspect patterns that have only forced him to grow and become a better person and be able to spread this love even more. Um, Uranus is conjunct Sirius A. I still see him here in the higher etheric states in an insectoid form. He's part of the Galactic Federation of Worlds here. And I'm also tapping into the reason why he went to Sirius. So there were some conflicts in the Sirius star system when um, different groups were coming into the system from other places and not always in agreement with some of the other inhabitants who were already there. And it seems as though some of the higher councils or our higher dimensional souls had to get involved to help these individuals create their own councils that were, would spread harmony and peace between the different planets in the star system. So they had uh, representatives from each star that were committed to unifying the Sirius system. And I believe that he was there as one of these higher dimensional souls who had to intervene to help spread the light of awareness to the conflicted star system of Sirius. So that was a super quick uh, mini galactic origins reading, just going over one point in the chart, just one planet and the soul origin and explaining a little bit about that placement. Super short reading here. Hope you enjoyed and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.